This is Marco with MacFly's The Tailwater Afters, and today we're tying the swamp bug. Uh, the hook we're using today is the all purpose Umpqua in a size 4. Alright, so we're going to start our thread at the eye of the hook. Work our way back. To sort of the bend. Okay. Should be right behind the bar of the hook again. Or just behind the barb of the hook. And we're gonna be tying in some estas. Alright. Do a couple turns, nothing too crazy. Alright. Tie this up top, secure it, work our way down the bend of the hook just a smidge, clean this up a little bit, go back up. We're going to do a couple turns. Do one, two. You don't want to go all the way to the um, shank of the hook, so you kind of want to stop before. All right. Throw it over, throw it over, clean this up, alright, get that stuff out, and clean up this area, so you kind of want, if you're looking at the hook, as you can see, you're kind of still flat. Next material is the Arctic Fox in olive. We're going to cut out a little clump. Nothing too crazy. We don't want to bulk up this fly um, too much, especially in the back. Um, with this Arctic Fox, sometimes you put a little too much and um, you end up having a fly that is at the top. Okay, so we'll pull out these guard hairs. Kind of want to sparse. Take your comb. Do that. I don't want it too crazy. I don't want this huge tail off the end. All right. So kind of one, two should be, should just prop up a little bit behind it. Okay. Tie this in and kind of go all the way back to the Estaz. Clean that up. Toss. Next material is the UV Polar Schneel in Copper UV. So that's awesome. Um, definitely gives a little bit of flash. You don't need too much. A little goes a long way with this stuff. Tie this in, get some flash. Okay. Couple turns, not much. All right. So one. To palmer it back just like you would like EP brush. Uh -huh. This should be good right there. Usually I do maybe eh, maybe I'll do a third turn. Okay. All right. Throw it over. Throw it over. Clean this up. Kind of tie it back onto itself a little bit. Okay, and cut this off, get out of here, all right, and then you'll have some stuff, some fire, like some flash kind of hanging out a little bit, and then, and then I'm going to kind of want to clean this up, work it back a little bit, kind of onto the flash again, and the next thing I want to tie in is some EP crab eyes, crab shrimp. Um, with this is kind of a this is a kind of a crab shrimp pattern, um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna want these kind of hanging up a little bit, so I'm gonna tie it in kind of off like this. I don't want it hanging out too too much. Um, I don't want these huge eyes hanging out, um, so I kind of want to keep it a little bit closer to the. 
fly. All right, so kind of pull that. And what I'll do is throw some threads in between here, kind of kind of splay it out a little bit. Just a couple, nothing too crazy. You don't want to splay it out too too much. Um, then they're hanging out to the side. Do the same thing on the other side. And then a good indication um, that I like to use is if you're looking at the fly, you can see the the um, line kind of crossing each other, making an X. Uh, that's a good indication for me, at least. I don't know how true it works, but um, just kind of cross itself, just so I kind of get that same um, portion on each side. And I'll throw some threads in between, splay them out a little bit. Like we said, all right, take them. And uh, another thing I like to do is just kind of pull these back and snip. Um, cleans up a little bit more than if you were to just snap right there. And then just clean this up a little bit. All right, so should kind of be split out to the side like that. Okay, next thing, some uh, crusher legs. Okay, Let's tie this in. And then, kind of, this is on one side, then I'll throw this over on the other side. And these are in the olive color, um, the olive clear. And what I like to do is I kind of like take them like this and tie these in like that. So I want them both hanging out to the side. And then nothing too crazy, don't have them like crazy long after. Um, if say if the flash is, ends here, um, then I want them just a smidge longer. Nothing too crazy, you don't want these long legs. All right, next material, we're gonna advance kind of closer to the eye of the hook. Um, if you don't want to go all the way so you can add a wee guard, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I don't usually go all the way, but I like to have a little bit of gap in there because I don't want to be hugging the eye of the hook too much. But the next material we're going to be tying in is some double pupil lead eyes. All right. And these are in the, these are a size small. Uh, you can do mediums, you can do extra smalls. I like smalls, they kind of work best for what I'm fishing and where I'm fishing. All right, do some X wraps and then some parachutes. Kind of lock those in. You can use some glue, you cannot use glue, or you can just cinch them down, kind of like I do. Uh, all right, then we're gonna take our thread and go back to where we tied in those legs. Next thing we're going to be tying in is the shrimp dub from EP. All right, this is the inch and a half, or sorry, two inch. This is the two inch shrimp dub. All right, and I don't want this huge tag end, as you can see on this side. Uh, there it is. All right, so I kind of like, what I'll do is just trim it off. And then I'll tie this in here. I like to tie it on the bottom of the hook. Gotta make sure that's secured. You can take some glue to that. You cannot take some glue. Like I said, whatever your preference is. Kind of build that ramp right there. And then advance your thread to the front. And I'll throw my thread over the eyes. And then I'll tie it right. I'll just do one turn right here. Right. Take this stuff. Palm it all the way back. Uh, one turn here, one full turn, and then as I advance forward, what I kind of want to do is just space it out. Uh, you don't want too much bulk on this fly. Um, you just kind of just want it to have that body that moves a little bit. And then once you get to the uh, eyes, just do one turn. And then a good indication for me is um, once I know that it's going to be how I want it, I'll take one turn over 
and then I'll look and as you can see it's kind of like right upon the eyes of the hook all right so that's where I know that I'm like okay got it it's in the spot I want pull up and then separate these fibers and I lost my spot in the front that's all right go here trap kind of get those fibers out of the way here we go I'll tie that in there we go okay um, you might have a little bit of tag into that wire in the, there that's all right no, no worries and then what I'll do here is I'll whip finish Double whip finish, just for some security. Man, there we go, all right. Got it. Tie, and then I'll take the brush. I kind of just pluck all those fibers out, just in case if there's any trapped ones. All right. And then on this bottom part, all this stuff we don't need, so let's trim it up. Fluff it up, trim. And then if you don't want this stuff like going the like off the sides, I like to just have that little bit of um, on the sides kind of splay out a little bit. If not, it's no biggie. And then just take it, and what you do should be the end result. Kind of trim it up a little bit on the sides and on the bottom. Okay. And then this is the finished product. All the materials for this fly will be in the link in the description below.